Today, our job in the court and in the tribe is to re-engage people in a process to be in this world how it is now and to say, okay, you know, we are village people, we have village values, and those values compel us to take care of each other, our families, and our country. In my capacity here as the chief judge, what I'm fighting for is our people, you know, our independence, our sovereignty, our existence. The cases that are most dear to me and most challenging, I would say, are the cases dealing with families and children. When I was 11, my mom couldn't take care of us no more because my stepdad was hitting us and they were doing drugs. So she put us in a group home. They said we'd only be there for a couple of weeks and a bunch of the time passed and we knew we weren't gonna go back after like the fourth, fifth month. I've been going back to school, getting my grades up, trying to keep myself focused so I can hopefully go to college someday. My tattoo says, uh, every sinner has a future. Every sinner, I mean, no matter the person, they can always have a future. Hey, ah, hey, hey, ah, hey, hey, broke and lonely, she went home, now I'm all alone, now I'm broken, lonely again, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey. It started when I was a kid, probably when I was about 14, 15, then I was in San Quentin by 19. I did my parole, and then I started using meth again, you know. It must have just been like a demon laying down in me that I didn't think I'd ever use it, but I did, you know, just a hit. And then from there on, it was just boom, full, full on meth addict again. We're old enough to know that sometimes it takes more than once. And as long as you stay steady, we'll, we'll, we'll be there with you. So we'll get it done. If there was no tribal court in this situation, he would be in prison. We gave him an opportunity to come with us, to walk with us, and we walked with him to get him home. Hey, Dad, you catch a fish. Yeah. You catch a shoyan. Yeah. I'll touch it? Yeah. Touch it. I leave it in the water. Yeah, he lives in the water. I don't want my kid to be a, a drug addict like me. I want him to be all the good in me, and none of the bad. I do feel confident that you're able to secure the services you need for your son. That's not always easy to do. A lot of people give up through the process. And so I'm going to accept the recommendations to dismiss this matter and close the dependency case. So congratulations today. I think you're doing a good job at this point. Your mom is just happy. When everybody walks away feeling good, I mean, they walk away feeling restored. Come on. Uh, that always restores my faith in our people, that restores my faith in justice and in what I do. The state has a lot of responsibility for all the people. I have responsibility just for this one set of people. 6,000 Yurks and their families. And that's what I'm responsible for, and to this land, to this place. It's what it's all about for us. I, mean, I don't even know how to say it.